you soar through the howling Rocky Mountain winter air with 14,000 foot mountains below. The atmosphere is so thin, only the specially designed ship you're a passenger in can safely transport you to the tops of these snow-covered peaks. You land on the edge of a rocky cliff where wind has whipped the snow away. As the helicopter disappears over the horizon, the abrupt silence is now broken only by an eerie pulse from the transceiver strapped to your chest, a device which enables a rescuer to find you should you become trapped by an avalanche. The beauty of the mountains, the thrill of the helicopter ride, and the draw of unskied powder has brought you here to Heliski. This is just the beginning for Operation Heliski, scheduled for production this 1991 winter season. Operation Heliski explores the lives of men and women who make heliskiing in the Rockies a reality. This one-hour made-for-television documentary will follow these professionals through their biggest year of operations as they explore new mountain ranges along the Continental Divide. Phil Rogers, with over 5,000 hours of high-altitude flying, started as a helicopter pilot in Vietnam. We have 150 square miles. We have a lot higher elevation, so we need this particular helicopter, which is a little bit more costly. Uh, and we have to move around to find our snow lots of times because uh, so much of the train is so high, up to 14.4. Most of the landings are above 13,000. Harvey DeWitt, chief guide and partner for Colorado Heliski. Uh, just about anybody probably goes heli skiing. It's in the back. It's into the back country to begin with. If you go heli skiing very much, it's something you just get hooked on. I suppose it's like a drug. Jay Gautier guides year round in Colorado and New Zealand. You'd never really know the snowpack and we're seeing some huge slides around here right now, so I know eventually it probably will take my life, but uh, that's what keeps me going. It's that exciting thrill of just wondering what's gonna happen each turn. Together, they make hella skiing happen in one of the most beautiful and challenging areas in the world. Colorado has the most varied weather patterns and unpredictable snowpacks of all hella ski terrain. For example, one week of fluffy powder snow, a few days of wet heavy snow, and a month of little snowfall can make skiing in the backcountry extremely dangerous because the layers that make up the snowpack may or may not bond together. And when they don't, an avalanche occurs. To beat the odds, selected terrain is studied before it is skied. Weather patterns are checked. Temperature fluctuations are monitored. Explosive devices are dropped to check snow stability. Then a mountain bowl of untouched snow may be skied or abandoned. Could be skiable in the near future, but it isn't now. Operation Heliski, produced by Born Productions, specialists in high country adventure, with cinematography, original music, and editing by Tim Nixon. Location sound, animation, and graphics by Chris Nixon. Together in the heart of the Colorado Rockies, in association with Colorado Heliski, Operation Heliski will present The Spectacular Adventure of Heliskiing, premiering in the fall of 1991.